Hello, welcome to Love at Home with Kim. Today will be a nursery tour and I'm really excited because we have been working on this for months and it's about time that I show you guys what baby girl's room will look like because right now at this very moment as I'm filming this video, I'm currently 39 weeks and 6 days which means it's actually my birthday today, October 31st, because my due date is November 1. So without further ado, here is what baby girl's room looks like. We just hung up this little wooden accordion um, organizer or something like that, which you can actually put some hats and stuff. It's really cute. It adds like some sort of character to the wall, right? And it's also functional. So this one we got from Da Vinci. So we got this dresser as well as the diaper changing, um, what do you call this? diaper changer something like that <laughs> together with the crib so the color is called cottage white we were debating whether to get cottage white or cottage gray but this one is so nice this one is a diaper changing pad that we got from amazon we also got the cover from amazon this is also from the Amazon registry. It's the diaper caddy. And what's good about this is that we can just bring it in the room while baby is gonna stay with us. So this has all her diapers, some wipes, a burp cloth, butt paste or diaper cream, something like that. And a lot of moms swear by these butt paste or diaper cream applicator. So I'm just going to give this a try too. Nothing over here. Oh yeah. I also have the sample desitin that I got from the Amazon welcome box. And I also put some alcohol sanitizer. I'm not going to put it on baby, but this is for my hands to make sure that my hands are always clean. So over here, just beside the diaper changing station is the diaper pail that we got from Decor. It's actually a gift from one of my friends. And over on the other side is a laundry hamper for baby girl. On the first drawer, we added these dividers that I also got from Amazon. So it basically has, what's this? Oh, this is for the boon. Um, it's where you put the clean bottles once you clean them and then you let them dry off. So as of now, I'm just putting it here. This one has the baby bottles and containers from Medela. Most of these are free for, for our insurance. This one I got from the welcome box. These are the breast pads, some batteries, and over here, more bottles and basically the stuff that I need for the breast pump are all here. This is, I think, these are more disposable breast pads that I got for free. This is the Chico um, silicone bottle cleaner. And this is my breast pump. So this is the one I got free from the insurance. And these are all breast pump parts. This drawer has all the bibs of the baby. For this container, it has the Vaseline, Frida Nose Baby, um, the little refills. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry for my foot. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so these are the little refills for the nail clipper, but the nail clipper is actually in my hospital bag right now. So I can't show you that because I don't want to keep on putting it back and forth. Here's baby's brush. 
baby's comb basically the grooming stuff are here over here are basically the medical stuff gas relief drops gripe water infant tylenol and her little um no touch thermometer over here are like her little baby rattles you know to make sure that i can still entertain baby while we're changing her diapers over here is like a net mesh so i can put her little mittens whenever i would put them in the laundry so they won't get lost here are the diaper changing pads so you saw the pink one over here we also have a brown one and some actual pads over here which we can just put on, on top over here so that we don't keep on changing this one second layer on the second drawer these are all newborn up to three months so these are her little onesies so more of the short sleeve onesies and these are her sleepers and these are her leggings and these are her little mittens on this side we have her bath stuff so we have her shampoo and her body wash over here so these are some of the samples that we got from the welcome box we're gonna try those out so mostly her bath stuff are in here her washcloths her towels are here we also have her bassinet covers and her crib covers are also here they're just stacked together and over on this side, we have the covers for her boppy lounger and the boppy nursing pillow. On the bottom most drawer, here we have her little socks and little booties to keep her feet warm. Some of them are just, you know, the pretty pretty ones so that we can just take pictures. These are her... I don't know what you call these like diaper covers what do you call this i forgot i just got this for free from um like a promotional thing i'm gonna link it below or i'm just gonna put a picture over here but we just wanted to try this out because it's so cute so all of her like little stuff like this is over here these are her crib sheets so we have more of them here and these are her sleepers so these are sizes that are a little bit bigger so that's why i put it here at the bottom on the last drawer we have more wipes over here we have her easy swaddles and her wearable blanket so we only have one wearable blanket and two easy swaddles over here but yeah, I think we have to buy more of those. So we also have her newborn diapers over here. For this light, I think we got it from Lamps Plus. We went to a store and immediately bought this one. And it just looks so nice over here because it's very neutral. And this wallpaper, um, we also bought it. I forgot where. I'm just gonna link it down at the description box. But yeah, um, my husband and his cousin had put this wallpaper here. So this is her crib. We also got this from Da Vinci together with a dresser and a diaper changer. And as you can see here, once baby is sleeping in this, we're going to remove this little play mat. But as of now, we're just going to put it here because it's so cute. It's all pink and yeah, it's so pretty. So this little bookshelves that we installed are actually spice racks that we saw from Amazon. So we decided to just put it here and turn it into a bookshelf and it's actually pretty nice. So she has all her baby books here displayed. This is one of the books that my mom used to read to me when we were kids. So it's Good Night Moon and I wanted to make sure that I will be passing on the tradition to our baby girl. 
So we also have this little um, baby monitor over here, but we're still trying to figure out how to put this in a more secured um, position in the room. But as of now, we're just gonna put it there. I also love this curtains that we got from Macy's. It's blush pink and I feel like it's just a perfect neutral pink for this room. We got this Hatch sound machine from Amazon because a lot of moms swear by this that it actually helps with baby sleeping. And we also have this little humidifier. We got this side table from Ikea and I believe this is just a perfect side table beside my rocking chair because I can just put my phone here or my coffee or water or whatsoever snacks as I am rocking baby. This glider is probably my favorite purchase out of all the furniture that we got because it's the cheapest but at the same time it's very comfortable. So I've seen a lot of gliders that are about $600 and up but for this one we got it for less than $200 at Bob's Furniture. We got this sign from Amazon. So I just love little signs like this that has a Bible verse and has so much meaning. So these three animal paintings we got from Kirkland Home and we got it on sale for I think about $4 each, which is so cute. And this one we got from Ikea. This one I got from Amazon. And this little thing are just, um, what do you call this? Like magnetic curtain holders. So whenever you would like to open the curtains, we can just use this. This is baby's little hat. So it just looks so nice over here in this wall. This bear basket is from the container store. It's just so perfect over here because we're going for like a natural look for baby girl's room so that in case we will have a boy, then it would still fit the theme or the colors. So we strategically put the burp clots beside a glider because that's how it is. And we have, I think, over 20 burp clots here because you just can't have enough of burp clots. This is a Calyx shelf that we got from Ikea. And we also got these little wooden baskets from Ikea as well. I'm gonna link as much as I can below. This one just has some random knickknacks. Um, basically, it has a lot of the papers and manuals, instructions and all, but I have to organize them. This is the baby monitor. This is something I also got very cheap. This is from Costco. So for this one, I just put um, the little cards that has baby's milestone stuff. This is um, her visual cards, so it shows different visual cards for different ages. These are her soft books, and these are her soft fun cards. So I would like to just, you know, try as much as I can to teach baby all these stuff. We have a bunch of these dresser dividers. So I just decided to put some of them over here. And we've put this little stuffed toys that my husband and I actually won a couple of years ago from, I think, Orange County Fair, LA Fair, something like that. This box is empty, so there's no need to fill it with stuff because definitely as years or months go by, we're definitely gonna put something in here. So these are more stuffed toys. On this container, what I've put here are basically the travel stuff like the baby wrap, a nursing cover. This is the Infantino baby carrier. I've also put it here. So basically all the carriers and nursing covers are in this container. 
All her receiving blankets and muslin swaddles are over here. And here are just some random items that we got for free, like some sort of promotional items such as like formula milk, just in case. But of course, we're definitely going forward for breastfeeding, but just in case, we just put it here. This is her extra decor classic, um, like a extra pouches for the diaper pail. I've also put the plug protectors over here. So once baby's already moving and all, we're gonna put these plug protectors. Finally, baby girl's closet. So here are her clothes. So we also got these dividers from Amazon. So this is just so useful because at least we know what are for zero to three months, newborn, three to six, because we're first time parents. So we don't really memorize how um, sizes of you know baby clothes would look like. So these are for zero to three months. These are three to six months. These are for six to nine months. So we practically have like five to 10 pieces of each size. I don't know. I mean, we probably need more. <laughs> and this is for nine to 12 months. And we didn't buy anything that's 12 months onwards, so it's still empty. The upper shelf, we still have these extra dividers that we got from Amazon that we placed on the dresser drawer. So the bigger ones, we just decided to put it up here and organize some of the items. So over here, there's a, what do you call this? Like a wearable blanket, which is good for 12 months. So it's still too big. We also have her um, uh, detergent over here, extra blanket because we won't be using a blanket for baby yet. These other containers are practically empty. So we have the Baby Bjorn bouncer. We have the Boppy lounger. We have behind here the Fisher Price play gym. Over here are her bath stuff such as the Angel Care bath support. And we stock up on diapers of different sizes and also um, water wipes because there was a sale on Amazon Prime Day. We saved about, I think, $20 per box because the deal is really good. I've also put my sort of maternity um, <laughs> diapers. That's for me, okay? That's for me. Just in case, you know, I'll, I'll be bleeding a lot after birth. So I've just decided to put it there. That is all I have for you today for the nursery tour. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this a thumbs up. I'm gonna link as much as I can in the description box down below in case you guys are interested in some of the items. And none of the links are affiliate links. I'm just gonna share you guys what we got with our own money, no sponsorships or whatsoever. And if you are into videos like this on pregnancy, motherhood, hauls, unboxings, cooking, cleaning motivation, and all that good stuff, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below, Love at Home with Kim, and also click the bell icon down below. And as you click the bell icon, click the word all. It will let you know that I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!